I'm Mark. I'm gonna tell you a story. They say there are no atheists in foxholes, and if that's true, then dating in your 30s must be like a 1930s German lobbing a grenade into your underwear. Because after being a devout atheist since the age of 17, I found myself in the first church I came across in Union, New Jersey, trying to make a deal with the big guy. God, I'll come back. All I ask for is a girl. Maybe a teacher, someone nice. Yeah, let's definitely say a teacher. I like teachers. I don't know if it was God that answered, but I heard a voice, and it said, Let me tell you something. Don't eat on your first date. It was as if the universe was revealed to me for the very first time. I mean, who pays the bill? Do you split it? What happens if I want to leave after the appetizer? And I always spill sauce on my shirt. No more. This was it. I finally discovered the secret of the universe. Antoinette was out of my league, but we hit it off. Her parents were from Alexandria, Egypt, and so was my dad. Actually, I think we got off on the wrong foot. We met at a local lounge, and I thought it went pretty well, although the conversation got a little Egyptian. So you're Egyptian from Alexandria? Wow, you're good. My dad's from Alexandria. My family's from Alexandria. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like uh, Amarudio? Is that a food? He's a singer. What about Koshari? Singer? It's a food. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know that one. Uh, the chickpeas, rice, pasta. <laughs> Fool. What'd you call me? No. No, 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 no. Well, I meant <laughs> the beans. With the fava beans. Yeah. I know, I know. I was just eating. <laughs> so, um, what do you do? I'm a teacher. A teacher? It's a sign. I'm a teacher. I teach media studies at Kane University. Really? Don't ask her to eat. Don't ask her to eat. Don't ask her to eat. Next week? Don't do it. Well, maybe this counts as the first date, right? I love Italian. Mm -hmm. So, checked out Amar Diab. Oh, and what are your thoughts? He's the Egyptian Ricky Martin. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes. <laughs> Mark, you, uh, you did a really great job picking out this place. This is my favorite Italian spot. Yeah, I love it here. This is my local. So, what are your thoughts on childhood cancer? <gasps> um. One of my students has lymphoma. That's terrible. I wasn't expecting this to get so medical. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <sighs> my father's a doctor, so we, we talk about this sort of stuff all the time. It's okay. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. Uh, my dad's a jeweler, so. Oh. What do jewelers usually talk about? Cursing, mostly. <laughs> at least when he talks in Arabic, it all sounds like cursing. Yes, it does. Mark, do you have any idea how hard it is to find a Coptic guy to date? No, I was raised Catholic. Wait, what? But I thought you said your last name was Boutros. It is. And, and your dad's Egyptian, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, he's from Egypt. But my great-grandfather's technically, um, I think he was from the Ottoman Empire, so it's probably Syrian Wait a minute, or... wait a minute. Have you been lying to me? No. What, what, what's happening? You, you led me to believe that you were Coptic. Mark, are you, are you just doing all this because you're trying to get in my pants? 
Okay, if I were sophisticated enough and I thought that were an option, then yeah, maybe I'd try that. But as far as I can tell, Coptic and Catholic are basically the same thing. No, they're not. <sighs> you know, I should have known when I Googled you and found your online dating profile listed as white. Mark, just be honest with me. Are you ashamed of our culture? Or are you a fake? Well, I do tan easily after April. Oh my gosh. You're sitting here joking around and playing head games with me. Meanwhile, my biological clock is ticking. Are, are you not aware that that exists for women? Because it does. It's a very real thing. Um, you know, this sauce is excellent. If you tried the carbonara, you should try the carbonara. This is the worst first date ever. Technically worst second date ever. No. First. And last. Good night, Mark. Uh, aside from Instagram and Christian Jihad, I had a great time! Do this again! I am so sorry I am late. Uber takes forever to get to meat packing around this time of day. Oh, oh how is the wine? Really good. Apparently I've been drinking grape juice my entire adult life. I'm, I'm sorry, um, what was your name? Sarah was a princess living in Brooklyn, hailing from the Royal House of Suffolk County, South Shore. East Hampton, between Martha Stewart and Bill and Hillary. <gasps> Do you know the Clintons? They just sold. But you're a teacher. Yes, Daddy thought that I should do something productive, and Mother used to be a teacher before she got married. Tapenade with olive oil crostini. And for the gentleman, This. Sir, I can't possibly eat all of this. I just had my stomach stapled. So, you grew up in the Hamptons. Oh yes, I moved there when I was 10. And then we went back and forth to Greece when I was younger. Daddy works in Maritime. He's a proctor in Admiralty. He tests admirals? <laughs> No, he's a maritime attorney. <laughs> I went to Brooklyn Law, but it just wasn't for me. I much prefer to work in education. Well, you are a lot more interesting than your shopping habits would suggest. <laughs> <laughs> I do buy off the rack sometimes. <laughs> we have a good life, but we've worked for it. Anyway, they loved it out there, but it wasn't for me. I moved to Brooklyn for law school and I never looked back. What about you? Where are you from? Jersey boy? No, I'm from Queens. My mother was a Sicilian nurse. Uh, my dad's an Egyptian jeweler. At least, to most people, he's Egyptian. So you're bridge and tunnel? Just like you. No. No. No, no, Queens is bridge and tunnel. <laughs> okay. I know you probably didn't study civil engineering at law school, but the Brooklyn Bridge has the word bridge in it. Listen, Mike. Mark. People want to live in Brooklyn. Okay. What are you doing? I'm trying you a map. No, this is linen. Perhaps Mr. Banksy would like to honor us with a mural? What, what, why do you even have this? You know what? I chose the place, so I want to split it with you. It's $140, so. Is it? Oh, he, he didn't comp you the wine or the, 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 um. Give me that napkin back. Yeah, I want to review division with you. I have no idea why I was running, but I ran. Maybe I had to get away. Maybe the movement was calming. Maybe I was so hungry I had to find a plate of something that won't get blown away by a light breeze. Em empanada? Oh, yeah. Oh. <sighs> Waiting for a date is always nerve-wracking. Waiting for her in a parking lot makes it feel like a drug deal about to go bad.
But when Lisa pulled up on that day, her smile was so bright, it lit up an already beautiful day. Hey. Hey, Mark? <laughs> yeah, nice to finally meet you. You as well. Um, would you mind taking your car too? I just wanted to see you before we actually go out. Okay. Do I pass? So far. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I hope you don't mind that I asked you to pick the place. I just don't really know this area very well. Oh, no, not at all. Uh, I should probably let you know I don't drink that much. No, that's cool. So where are we going? A bar is a funny place to meet for a non-drinker. Yeah, I know. I really don't drink that often. I'm such a novice. One time I tried to order a Roman Coke and I didn't realize it's supposed to be called a rum, rum and, and coke. coke. Nice. <laughs> Here, uh, can I get you something? Oh, really? <sighs> of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, and she walks into mine. He, he walks into yours. I'm a man. You don't say. You guys know each other? Yeah. He gets around. What can I get for you? Um, you know, I think I'm going to make an exception tonight, and I will try the Malibu Bay Breeze. Very good. And you? I think I'll go with a uh, Roman Coke. <laughs> Don't get cute. I heard the story. So, um, how do you know this place? You grew up around here? College. Where'd you grow up? Queens. And I loved it so much, I went to Queens College. I'm from Queens. Really? Yeah, I moved here in third grade. I'm sorry, Lisa. That makes you a Jersey girl. You got a problem with that? Depends who's driving. <laughs> so is this a date? Well, then these are on me. Wow. <laughs> I wouldn't want you to have to go Dutch. <laughs> Thank you. He's such a nice guy. Wow. Yeah, he's a real nice guy. And if you get bored and feel like being creative, here. One bon appetit. Why do you even have these? Hmm. X's or O's? Popular. Uh, yeah, it's just my rescue squad checking in on me just in case. Oh. So should I expect SEAL Team 6? Nope. I told her to go to bed. You know, they have a kitchen here. If you want to see a menu, maybe grab a bite to eat, bite to grab eat, bite to eat, bite to eat, bite to eat. So what are your thoughts on childhood cancer? Don't eat on your first date. I chose the place. Let me split it with you. My biological clock is ticking. Actually, I was hoping that we could maybe just go for a walk or something. Oh, okay. You don't even want to split some fries? It's nice outside. Okay. Yes, I am a teacher. <laughs> Either that's written on my forehead or you are a really great guesser. <laughs> so I have a question. Mm-hmm. Do you have an Asian fetish? What? <laughs> I was just wondering if you've ever had an Asian girlfriend before. Actually, I was engaged to a Korean woman. Aha, uh -huh. I should have known. Well, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> have you ever dated an Egyptian guy before? Actually, my ex was Egyptian. <laughs> so you're the one with the fetish. Uh, no, it's not the same thing. I didn't even know you were Egyptian. <laughs> That's even worse. You sniffed me out. <laughs> Okay, fine. Maybe I have a type. Well, maybe I do too. Oh, really? And what type is that? Beautiful Asian girls? <laughs> <laughs> Teachers who don't know the names of drinks. <laughs> ha ha, very funny. <laughs> hey, there's uh, an amazing Ethiopian restaurant right around the corner. Would you want to go check it out? Uh, 
Actually, Lisa, my stomach is kind of bothering me. Do you mind if we just grab a seat? Sure, no problem. You doing okay? Yeah. I um, remember what we were saying. Oh yeah, there's an Egyptian restaurant right yeah. in the corner. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you're not feeling well. No, my stomach kind of oh, hurts. Yeah. Do you mind if we just no, kind of? No, not at all. You know? Yeah, sure. Oh, I think I just got another splinter right in my oh, really? right leg. Oh, yeah. These benches, right? <laughs> So this is your old stomping ground. Well, I was living with my parents, so I wasn't really doing much stomping. Plus, I was really focused on school at the time. Hmm. Took me 10 years to get a four-year degree history major. By the time I finished and graduated, my final thesis was on my freshman year. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Uh, I uh, did my undergrad and master's in five years. I was an education major. And you stuck with that? Yeah, I pretty much knew I wanted to be a teacher since I was in second grade. And I've been at the same school ever since. How about you? I teach media studies at a college. Wow, that's mm -hmm. really cool. 13th grade. <laughs> <laughs> right, 13th grade. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> wow. So gorgeous out. It's really beautiful. I love being by the water. I've been here for a while now. Yeah. I'm getting a little chilly. So I'm ready to get going? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun. Uh, it was. Yeah. Thank you so much. Lisa, I had a great time. I did too. We hung out for over five hours. Wow. It's kind of amazing. Yeah. But uh, listen, we're uh, by this amazing food truck, and I'm starving. So you want to grab a bite? I'll treat. Lisa, I had a really good time. Let's do this again soon. Oh, OK. So no food? All right, I see. Uh, What's wrong with you? What is wrong with me? Hi. Empanada? Girl, I don't know what happened. I thought it was going really well, but then he... Hold on a sec. Oh, snap, this is him. No. No, I think I should take it. Stop, I'm gonna take it. Okay, bye. Hello? Hey, Lisa? Yeah? It's Mark. I just wanted to let you know that I had a really good time last night. Really? Huh. I thought you hated me. Why? Well, because you wouldn't get anything to eat with me. I mean, what? Really? I have this rule never to eat on a first date, but that doesn't apply to second dates. There's a really good Italian restaurant on Main Street. You mean you want to go right now? I mean, I want to go right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, could you give me like 30? I'm pretty hungry. Can I give you like 10? Uh, yeah, okay. I could do that. See you there. <sighs> See? My inner voice was right. Girl, five hours, no food, what? This girl needs to eat. She, you, said yes to the second date, and that I might be a lunatic does not change the fact that it worked out. See what I have to deal with. We will fill in all of the gaps later, like uh, the time that we crashed that canoe and waded through the mud. You mean you crashed a canoe? Actually, it was you. I was the bowman. You were the sternman. And I'm the one with the merit badge. Okay, fine, whatever. How about the time he learned the reasons why you don't hire guys off of Craigslist to do body work on your car? Okay, I will own that one. And I will get to everything later, I promise. But just for the sake of the story, just to prove to you that I was right to listen to that voice inside of my head, we are going to vault over time just for a moment. So, welcome to marriage prep class. I'm Deacon Joe. And I'm Julie, I'm Mrs. Deacon Joe, and I'm so excited for you guys. Welcome. Hey, is it that the 
bartender from the place we went to on our first date? Hi. Hey. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Hi. Hey, how you doing? So, marriage can be a wonderful institution. But who wants to live in an institution? Shh. Ouch! But it can have its ups and downs. Uh, sometimes it could be big things. Other times it's often the little things that really test a marriage. Like when he leaves his shaved facial hair all over the bathroom. Or how about when she thinks that um, showing up at 8 really means 8.30? Or when he picks his toenails with a paperclip during Jeopardy. How about when the gas tank is always on empty? I love that one. Or how he doesn't acknowledge the fact that erectile dysfunction can be a warning sign of a heart attack. Okay. But anyway, remembering how you guys fell in love in the first place is gonna get you through all of those tough times. So for this exercise, I want you to think really hard and answer this question. It might be the most important question of your life. Why do you want to marry the person that you came with today? I'm finished. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. Friendly advice? Maybe you ought to write a little bit more. I'm good, Deacon. So, who wants to read first? He would. The reason I want to marry the person I came with today is... She's the answer to my prayer. Aww. <laughs> That's so sweet. Yo. Fist bump, son. I can 